When plans to construct the new $7 million building was made public earlier this year, it caused a national outcry, including a demonstration organized by the youth. The speaker explained that the money for the building is not a once-off payment, as reported in the local media, but is provided for in the medium-term expenditure framework over a period of three years, starting from the 2014-2015 financial year, through to the 2016-2017 fiscal year. For the 2014-2015 financial year, $25 million is allocated. He stated that phase one of the feasibility study was finalized during the 2012-2013 financial year, but no funds were provided for in the 2013-2014 financial year. Uh, but before we are... Condition. The construction of the new parliament building was put on hold to first complete the Supreme Court building, the chambers of the National Council and the new State House building. The current parliament building does not, does no longer meet the growing requirements of parliament in terms of current technology, size and functionality. It proves to be not only insufficient in terms of office space for both members and staff, despite the fact that every single office is being utilized to its ultimate capacity, but also its structural design is no longer being supported by today's <coughs> sophisticated technology. Yes. The National uh, Assembly has also allocated $5 million for the renovation of the SADC Parliamentary Office, while another $5 million is set aside to buy a number of vehicles yeah, yeah. to transport members of Parliament of in carrying out their if oversight function of taking Parliament to the people. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Parliament.